hi everybody welcome to today sandra can cook and today we are doing some steamed tilapia and banku so we have our two medium-sized tilapias diced onion some garlic and ginger all chopped one scotch bonnet we have some peppercorns here some parsley some thyme some rosemary and then salt and a little oil so thank you so much for today to Sandra can cook and you like our channel comment and subscribe today's dish is some roast tilapia in Banku so this tilapia has been neatly cleaned beautifully before you do it you want to get your stuff into the oil into the blender so in goes our diced onions, the parsley, the rosemary, and some herbs, garlic, ginger, scotch bonnet in there. And then we have about four tablespoonfuls of oil. Nicely. Make sure it's locked. So our mixture is smoothly blended. So what you want to do is just get it out beautifully into a nice clean bowl. Get everything out beautifully. And here we have two tablespoons of salt. Yeah. And you want to mix the mixture beautifully. Okay. That's it. Now I want to go ahead and rub your mixture onto the tilapia beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it in. Don't forget the head, because if it doesn't get in there properly, it can make you nauseous. Get your mixture in there beautifully. Rub your mixture of herbs and some spices onto your tilapia. Like I said, fill it up properly, so tell you where you did the slitting. I'm going to get it in there nicely. So guys, our tilapia is um, beautifully coated in our spices and the herbs and all that. We are, we are going to steam it, but you want to get it sealed in about two tablespoons of oil. You just want to get it sealed before it goes into the oven. Because I love where the ends are all kind of a little bent and all that. So you just get it sealed on both sides beautifully. You are not frying, you are just sealing the spices and herbs into your tilapia. So not too long, not too long, once you find it like that. You do same to the other one, nicely. That's it. Let them rub on each other is allowed. For the other side, same. Mm. 
guys from here you want to put your tilapia into a clean foil so in goes that tilapia nicely and then wrap it beautifully in a clean foil just get enough of a clean foil of the tilapia beautifully this is team tilapia on sandra can cook thank you so much guys so now our tilapia is neatly wrapped in a clean foil so with a kettle of boiled water you pour it into an oven tray nicely make sure the tilapia is so sealed that water will not get in there because all you want to do is steam the tilapia beautifully with the heat from the water and that of the oven so you have enough water in there and the oven is on nine and it's going to go on the top shelf of the oven so guys thank you this is steamed tilapia and this sandra can cook so in goes our tilapia into the oven this is the banku that will go with our steamed tilapia in here i have 900 grams of kondo or the maize flour and I also have here 300 grams of gari. Some use cassava dough. I use the gari. You want to try it, guys. It works the same. It works the same. So 300 grams gari or cassava dough or farina should do you nicely. So you mix it very well because you don't want any lumps in there. You mix it very well. And because you're having it with tilapia, you don't want to make it too soft. You want to don't make it too soft because of your throat. If it gets too soft, touches your throat, the feeling is so different. So you want to maintain a bit of thickness. I'm just going to add a little water to it. And then... I need my salt so that's one tablespoonful two three and four tablespoons of egg. four teaspoonfuls of salt in the banku mixture so you want to give it a good stir so it gets very thick that you cannot stir anymore and that's when you begin to give it a proper heavy stir which is needed to form the banku or to make the banku so guys when it gets thick and hardened you begin to now press it onto your saucepan beautifully Thank you for watching Sandra Can Cook. Today's dinner is banku and steamed tilapia with some red and black chili sauce. So that is how you do it. Guys, it's getting um, so hard. In fact, it's so hard now beyond what I wanted. So I'm going to just add some water to it. And this water, you allow it to boil before you mix it up with the water again. So now the water is boiled. You just want to get it mixed beautifully into your banku. This is simply cassava dough and maize um, and corn dough, but I use gari. You can use farina, you can use cassava dough, and this one is gari. So get the water mixed beautifully. You can equally go with saza or even eba. Saza or eba you can go with it beautifully. So once you are sure the water is mixed, Get back to pressing it to your saucepan.
So this has been cooking for about 30 to 35 minutes. Kindly like our channel, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching Sandra Can Cook. Today is Banku and steamed tilapia. Some red chili sauce and black as well. Banku is ready. You want to mold it. So you have your clean film on your wet top or wherever you want. Drop the size you love. You can do small, medium, large, extra large, depending on the size of your stomach. Get it nicely in the foil. Fold the ends together and just mold it into a beautiful ball. You could also do it rectangularly. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at all. And then in a clean bowl, you drop your banku beautifully. Guys, with the banku done, you want to do your red chili sauce that goes with the banku. So in here we have half a tin um, of plum peeled tomatoes, a clove of, clove of garlic, ginger, just a tiny bit equal, equal the size of the um, garlic and then one half a teaspoon of salt and then yeah so that's all you need and, and some onions some chopped onions so this is for the red chili sauce that goes with the banku and tilapia so you want to get it nicely give it a good blend hi guys so this is our finished steamed tilapia and some banku you can do sasa or eba with it. Here we have our red chili sauce, black chili sauce we call shito. I'll be doing a video on how you can make this. And then we have our chopped onions and some chopped tomatoes. So this is on Sandra Can Cook, steamed tilapia and some bangkun for dinner. I hope you guys liked it, the video. I hope you guys will try. Let me know how it goes. I've got a few people sending me pictures about what they've tried and the experience. So... If you want to be one that person, send me a video or send me a picture and kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. It's been wonderful having you guys taking your time to look or watch our videos. And for those of you who have tried some of our dishes, we truly appreciate you. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye.